Hey everybody, it's Calm and welcome back to more. Let's play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we started things off and we moved onwards from the Shrine of Resurrection into the further reaches of the Great Plateau. That was a kind of a poorly worded sentence, but I don't care. And I did get this last episode, but this wood seems to have respawned, which... Okay, that's strange to just respawn for no reason. Uh, do we don't need? I'll take the Boca bow just in case. Um, I have a little bit of a confession to make. This was originally going to be a blind series, like completely blind, but I couldn't help myself, so I decided to make my own file and well, I, <laughs> my own file. I decided to make a new Nintendo ID so I could have a personal file because this game pretty much has one save in the in like each playthrough you do. So yes, there is a way to actually exploit it to get another save file. And in that save file, I managed to um I managed to do a lot. Like I have done so much. And one thing I want to see if I can do now, even though I don't have too terribly much stamina, is climb the Temple of Time. If you were to jump when you're climbing something, you lose stamina more quickly, obviously, but you also don't get as much distance as if you, um, as if you, is, eh, I can't really phrase this very well, apparently. If you were to climb it like this normally, you can see I've just used over half of my stamina, and I've still reached the top. If I were to jump that, I'd probably make it about halfway, and not not make it, you know? I'd run out of stamina pretty quickly. We do need to come back up here at a later point in time, but before we even do... The Soldier's Bow is up here. This is a very, very good item. I don't recommend using it immediately because, you know, uh, your items can break, and yeah, uh, despite, you know, finding a new soldier's bow at some point. You do. That hurt. Um, you don't actually uh, need to go up and get that now, but I recommend it because it is quite a good pickup. Uh, now we are actually gonna carry on with the main objective. I did um, want to avoid doing it and just go on my own path, but no, following the main story of this game is probably gonna be better for the Let's Play format because of, you know, because of how spacious everything is. Um, it, it's gonna be increasingly difficult to actually do anything and this is something we can no we can do I'm just being stupid um wait no there was something I wanted to go and see but you know I completely forgot about it it was uh, something to do right at the beginning of the episode as well but it's just me being stupid now because I don't know where the heck it was uh, basically, we were heading to a cabin, if you can remember the first episode. But now, I don't know where it is. And if I did know where it is, I would have a grand old time because there's some... some collectibles in there. Uh, this star of the game is very slow. From what I played ye um, yesterday and today, it's all very slow. Like, there is pretty much no way of speeding this first section up other than just going for the main objective straight off the bat. Oh, ah, uh -huh. I remember. Oh, there's a blue chew. I'm actually gonna switch out my torch because I don't want to waste that. Go for a Boko Club because I don't want to use my uh, strongest weapon either. That's a very good strategy as well to not use your strong items because they can break very quickly and you'll be left with nothing. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. 
other than the rest of this game is amazing so far. Like in in my uh, spare file that I've got, I say I keep saying spare file. It's my personal file. Um, I have so much stuff. It's unreal. Ooh, we got a we got a new shield. I think. No, we got the same old shield. It just decided to tell us that we have some kind of new shield. Anyway, this is our main objective right now. Place the Sheikah Slate in the pedestal. Sheikah Tower activated. Please watch for falling rocks. And as you can see, these are huge. We're on the Great Plateau Tower, which is the very first tower we can actually get. And yeah. And I love this effect, by the way. Just the little teardrop. Bloop. Love it. I absolutely love that effect. And now, we have a whole map of the Great Plateau. But, if we go back into our map in a second... Uh, I hope I don't get thrusted into another cutscene. Uh, can I open my map as soon as this loads up? Come on, loading screen! That's another thing I noticed, the loading screens are quite long. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. <sighs> the beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. We have now learned of the evil that is unnamed at this point in time, and I was just about to name drop it, but I mean, we we know it from like pre-release material and stuff, and if you didn't avoid any spoilers like that from from the pre, I can speak from the pre-release material, and if you even like, if you didn't read the back of the game box, you know, like. You know that this evil has a name, and we know its name, and they just don't tell us. But yeah, here we go. This is the Great Plateau. And if we zoom out, it is the tiniest part of this whole world. This whole world is huge. And yeah, I've sunk about... Uh, I don't know. I've sunk quite a lot of hours into this game so far on my other file, and I've only unlocked like this area... Uh, I've ventured forth into these, I've unlocked this, and these two, and I think that's it. There's just so much in this game, and you get to it so slowly, it is unreal. But now, we now have a quick warp thing. 
Uh, I don't know if we can actually... Yep, here we go. We can now use these locations to quick travel. Which is not what I'm going to do, because that's not how we venture forth the story. Okay. Thought I was going to get hurt there. But no, with this, you can just run down and... Yeah. So, instead of traveling somewhere, you're going to want to get to the bottom of this tower as quickly as you can. And there's the old man. My, my. It would seem we have quite the enigma here. This old tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop the tower? Hmm. Well now, a voice you say. And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? No, we didn't. Hmm. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity enshrouding the castle. Mm. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, they very, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight and burn the I can't... Uh, I hate having to read this and messing it up, because it's such a... Oh well. Building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that the moment is fast approaching. <laughs> I must ask of you, courageous one. Do you intend to make your way to the castle? Yes, we do. <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs, with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, <laughs> no death could be more certain, or more foolish. Hmm. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. In my personal file, I wanted to be polite, and I said, Paraglider? And said, hand it over, old man. <laughs> oh, certainly. Why not? But there is no such thing as a free item in this world, you know. Hmm. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Oh, you are... You are someone else, old man. Hmm. Come. Let me show you something. And we have to follow the old man. But we only have to follow him up to here, so we're going to wait for him to come back. Or come up, I guess. We... Yeah. Oh, I forget we have to talk to him. Do you see that structure there? The one shining with the strange light? It began glowing at the exact moment those towers arose from the ground. <laughs> I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Well... <laughs> That is our first objective. To get the treasure and get the paraglider from the old man. Uh, I am going to want to avoid certain things here. I'm going to be quite stealthy in the way I go about this because though these guardians are deactivated in the water, some of them are still technically alive and can come alive to, uh, you know, ruin your day. But, uh, if we 
just make our way to this. And I'm pretty sure swimming is the same as in, like, climbing walls. Uh, the less you, you know, the less you use your stamina, the farther you can go. Which, you know, kind of doesn't sound like it'd be all too, you know, true, but it is. Anyway, let's open the shrine. That symbol means we now have a travel gate. Or well, it is a travel gate, which means we can fast travel to these shrines that we see around the world. And this is the first time and only time you're going to be seeing all of these shrine or seeing a shrine open because with the amount of shrines I do in this game, I am most certainly not going to not going to show that all over again because you can skip the opening of each and every shrine. And that's something that I need to elaborate on from, well, it brings up a topic that I need to elaborate on from the very first episode. But first, to you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Omen a Or not, I, I did try reading that, but apparently, <laughs> apparently the game didn't like how slow I was going for suspense purposes. Anyway, place the secret, she could, she could, what is wrong with me today? Place the Sheikah Slate in the slab thing. And... Distilling rune, we get a rune. What is this rune? I know what this rune is. The word rune is not sounding like a word anymore. Bloop. Here we get our first rune, Magnesis. And this is probably something you have seen various amounts of times in pre-release material, the trailers and stuff. We can use our Sheikah Slate to pick up metallic objects and just wreck shop with them. Or gently toss them aside. <laughs> anyway, let's just run through here. Um, but as I was saying, yeah, in the first episode I did mention that I won't be... Uh, I won't be tackling many shrines, but then I realized from playing, you know, on my own, these shrines have a very, very important role, and yeah, it's best not to miss any if you come across them. Alright, so what we're going to do is put that over this thing here. Wait, can we not... We can't move it forward anymore. Alright, well, we can take this one and move all these blocks out of the way. And you want to get rid of this thing as soon as possible, because it's an enemy. It's basically a mini guardian. And, much like guardians, they can house the ancient screws and springs and gears and shafts and stuff. Those are all ancient items that come from guardians and stuff and yeah I made the mistake in my first file of actually selling mine which is not recommended because they are useful later on in the game so now in my game I'm having to hunt them down and yeah I wish I never made that mistake anyway to bring that slab over and use it as a ramp I guess not a bridge and these chests are made of the same material as the doors and the bricks and the slabs. And I can move it closer to me because I'm lazy and I don't want to move. And we don't get very much good from it because, yeah. It's just the first one. It's, it, it is what it is. And that brings us to the end of the shrine. This is also something I'm going to skip. Well, when we come to another one in the future, which we will.
You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Omen Owl, the creator of this trial. I am a humble monk blessed with the sight of the goddess Hylia and dedicated to helping those who seek to defeat Ganon. With your arrival, my, du my duty is now fulfilled. And apparently that monk needed a burp halfway through his sentence because that's how I made it. In the name of the goddess Hylia, allow me to bestow you this gift. Please, accept this spirit orb. Freaking gladly, man. Spirit orbs. Their main collectible that we're going to need to collect, and you'll see why eventually. A symbol of the courage. Uh, what? A symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of the shrine. And with that, we have our first spirit orb. May the goddess smile upon you. And with that, the monk disappears, never to be seen again. And we get thrown into a loading screen. Oh, that one actually went by quite quickly. And here comes the old man. Boop! It seems you've managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? Clairvoyance. <laughs> or... Perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which must once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. <laughs> but perhaps it is not true for everyone. <laughs> the appearance of those towers and the awakening of the shrine hmm. is all con oh, it is all connected to that Sheikah slate you have on your hips. Paraglider, please. I have yet to finish speaking. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how someone like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. Hmm. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places across the land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. <laughs> Bring me the treasure from each, and I shall give you my paraglider. That was not the deal. Oh? Well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for you, uh, for a young go-getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, I will teach you how to find shrines. It's always best to survey them from an area... Wait, I can't actually read that. Uh, oh, looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of the tower again? Got it! <laughs> I admire your eagerness. But allow me to teach you something else before you go. Take a look at your map. Hmm. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Hmm. Or... So I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. I'm watching you, old man. But we'll do that in the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching, and yeah. We didn't do much this episode, but we will get more done next time. See you guys then.